a second. My guest is Eli okay. James. I, I, I want to give this. We're just talking about my book. The It's called uh, The Lucifer Legacy, and it's a science fiction book that I started 45 years ago. The captain of the Earthship Heaven went insane and uh, and started the the uh, the whole slavery yeah, movement. And he went insane, right? <laughs> and his co-captain was named Lucifer. And Lucifer said, yeah. "Look, we got we got this. Uh, the end of the world is upon us. We got to do something. Get it together, or I'll take over." And he was right. kicked out of the Earthship Heaven to the yeah, hell right. that was Earth at that time. So. Go ahead, and, yeah. and uh, yeah, we can, James call, we can call Yahweh the pilot and Lucifer the co-pilot, right? Uh, Ezekiel 28, uh, verse 13, I think I'll read through verse 17. And uh, here's Yahweh speaking to the, the cherub. The cherub is a, a very high-ranking angel. You have been in Eden, the garden of God. Okay, so he was in Eden. We, we, know, we know him as Nakash, the... the and one of his fallen angel representatives in human form seduced Eve. But he goes on to say, Every precious stone was your covering, the sardius, topaz, diamond barrel, etc. You know, he was very beautiful. You are the anointed cherub that covers and I that protects. And, <coughs> excuse me, and I have set you so. You are upon the holy mountain of God. You have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways from the day that you were created until iniquity was found in you. Verse 16. But the multitude of your merchandise, or by the multitude of your merchandise, they have filled the midst of you with violence, mystery Babylon, and you have sinned. Therefore, I will cast you as profane out of the mountain of God, that is, out of heaven, and I will destroy you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You have corrupted your, your wisdom by reason of your brightness. I will cast you to the ground. I will lay you before kings that they may behold you. So we're talking about the fallen Lucifer from heaven being cast out to earth. Jesus said, I saw Lucifer, I saw Satan falling from heaven as lightning. And this is Lucifer's last stand on this planet. And he, he doesn't want to go out quietly. <laughs> okay? He's not going to go out quietly. He's going to take as many people with him as he possibly can before the judgment day. Well, in my so, in my novels, uh, my character Lucifer is actually the good guy showing up two thousand yeah. years later, and okay. may, may, maybe he got you know I mean the the Masons worship Lucifer. Did Lucifer start the Masons to compete with the Catholic Church? Was the Catholic Church the bad guys? But because our founding fathers were Masons, our founding fathers of Texas were Masons. Right, right, yeah. Although they, they only had three degrees in American Masonry. Yeah, it was not really an offshoot there, and it was not illuminized as uh, continental masonry was. That's right. Well, yeah, that, that's a long story. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's real obvious. Um, the point of our discussion today has been the Second Amendment. Uh, the Second Amendment is a line in the sand, and there's more and more people coming out and saying so. Uh, it's not going to go like Australia. It's not going to go like Great Britain, where people just turned their guns in and they were all cut in half by by chop saws. It ain't going to happen here, folks. The federal government run by the Jews, they better think twice about taking our guns away because they're going to have to eat lead before I get my gun. If, if, and that will happen, but unfortunately it probably won't happen enough. Right, well, it's, they're going to keep pursuing it because they have to because the Second Amendment stands in their way of total dictatorship and sooner or later they're going to make a big mistake. And, uh, and the world will see who and what they really are, well, and will turn against them. My my prediction so that here, is coming. My prediction here is that Feinstein and Schumer will push this uh, yeah. seize the guns, making guns illegal, turn them in. If yeah. you don't turn them in, you become a criminal, and they will hunt yeah. you down because. If you were fool enough to buy that gun, and a million Americans have bought that gun, you bought it from a gun store, the government's got your name, they got your address, 
That's and, right. And, and yeah, you that's know, why we're opposed to registration. It's Soviet-style registration. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, mm. Bert, yeah. what we're telling you Hi, is Clay. the truth. I, I got to go. I got uh, work to do, so I'll be with you again tomorrow morning. All right. Thank you very All much. Right. Okay, take care. Appreciate and y'all are blessed. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> Great show with Eli James. Three half hours. Three half hours. And um, I, I appreciate you listening. Not enough for listening. Not enough. We've got very, very small. But when this goes on to Facebook, when this goes up on YouTube, <laughs> uh, incredible here. Hang on a second. Crashed again. But it's too late. I got it. I got it in here. <laughs> That's pretty incredible here. Pretty incredible. <laughs> and they're raging, man. They are scared to death. This is why the trolls are raging at me right now, folks. They don't want you listening to people like Eli James. They don't want you listening to people like me. Now, there's more than one way to help here. You see the Solovey logo up uh, that's uh, right here? Solovey is uh, this cell phone here. And you can get it for $49 a month. Unlimited. And this is now, now Verizon and um, T-Mobile. They, they're giving away your phones. They're giving away your... And they're charged... Oh, you went over. You went over on your data limit. You uh, you, you, you you went over your data limit, so, so you're going to owe $200 this month. Solovey is $49 a month. Mystery Babylon is the best read that you can get right now. And Mystery Babylon, send a $20 donation. I'll send you the PDF, and if you want a signed copy, then you can you can get that signed copy. This is this is what uh, I've been doing for the years after the accident, and we've got 500 pages in this book. It's got the history of the Rothschild. It's got the uh, Homeland Security Assessment trying to demonize Christian identity and the militias. They don't want the militias formed. The militias need to be formed. And uh, later on in uh, the week, I will have people up of the up on the uh, I will have people up on the side that have formed militias with their sheriff. The next attack is going to be on the sheriff. Already happening. Biden's son, Vice President Joe Biden's son, has relieved the sheriffs in Delaware. Has relieved the sheriffs in Delaware of the ability to make arrest. 200 and some odd sheriffs have signed up and said, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not, go we're not going to confiscate guns. We're going to, we work for the people. That's real. That's real and that's happening. So they, militias under the sheriff, they need to be under there to protect the sheriff because they want to eliminate the sheriff's office. This is a nationwide movement and it's happening now. I hope you understand the I hope you understand the severity of the situation. We are in the end times. They don't want you to know that. And right here is the only place that you are getting accurate information. This ain't hate speech. We're telling you who you should hate, who God told you to hate, who the Bible told you to hate, who Jesus told you to hate. And you need to listen to what I am saying here as if your life depended on it. Because it does. 
It does. And they want you to, Toga, you're right. They want you to be afraid. They be very, very afraid. They're coming after you. They're coming after you. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. Fear reduces your ability to think clearly. Fear of the unknown is what they want. And by the way, this is another one of my books, Deadly Flashes of Silver, second in a series that will take you into the future, folks. Again, great fiction, great fiction. If you like John D. MacDonald, get one bloody alabaster eye. Again, you can have that for a donation. Make a $20 donation. More if you can afford it. Make a donation. I will send it to Clay at FreeAmerican.com. And I'll send you the book immediately. You can read the book tonight. John D. McDonald's lawyers tried to, John D. McDonald's son tried to stop me from writing the Trevor Cameron Terrace Hunter series because it evoked a, and, and pretty much copied a style, but no, not, everything is original of John D. McDonald's Travis McGee series. Now, if you get one bloody alabaster eye, you get a future series that you can see what the next, next ten books in the series, the direction it's going to go in, and uh, it'll incorporate everything that I've learned doing the show and having these interviews. So, Mystery of Babylon, New World Order Unveiled, non-fiction, but my fiction is more believable, <laughs> more believable than my, uh, than my non-fiction. Now, there's a One Bloody Alabaster Eye, that's the first edition, I still have a few copies of that, but uh, that doesn't have the whole thing because ten years later, I went in and put the editions here, the editions here to, uh, and One Bloody Alabaster Eye, I've got a future segment in there that sets the tone for the next ten books that I have planned for the series. If you like fiction and you like adventure novels, this is one of the best. One Bloody Alabaster Eye. And the next one in that series is Deadly Flashes of Silver. And that may be more accurate and... and uh, <laughs> This uh, Deadly Flashes of Silver is about an attempt to blow up a nuclear power plant, which they may have done right now over in Iran. There's been an explosion, and they're uh, they're trying to uh, they're trying to cover that up. Iran is saying it didn't happen. We don't know. We haven't got accurate information yet. So, I want to thank you for listening. And I'll thank you in advance for making a donation today. We need it today. Today we got uh, we need gas. We need some. Uh, we got to cover some internet stuff. We need your help today. And I'll put this up on Facebook. We're going to. We're asking for your help. God bless you, God bless America, and thanks for listening. I am Clay Douglas, the Free American, freeamerican.com, Deadly Flashes of Silver, One Bloody Alabaster Eye, and Mystery Babylon. I also have videos up, you can get the videos if you want. True Face of FEMA, you should get that $20 donation, I'll send it to you. God bless you, thanks for listening.